hello everyone welcome to another video in this video i will discuss top 10 c sharp botnet interview questions that normally asked by interviewers whenever you apply any developer job in dynamics 365 crm normally when you apply any job that are part of any development activity or a developer role or something technical role then you are expecting that they will ask some dot net questions because developer means you are going to write some code right so i will discuss top 10 questions that is normally asked and i have also in my experience i have faced this so let us go one by one i have not discussed many you know interview questions be as because uh, they will not focus only csr.net questions if as because they are hiring uh, .NET dev, I mean uh, dynamic CRM or Dynamics 365 developers they will focus 80% of questions from Dynamics 365 and Power Platform and some questions 10 to you know uh, 10 to 12 or 10 to uh, 8 to 10 questions which are from C Sharp .NET to understand that if you clear about .NET concept or not so let us start the first question is uh, if you are applying for a developer job they will ask that whether you are well aware of oops concept or not right because microsoft.net is dependent on oops concept object oriented programming uh, structure and uh, you know a programming model so you have to be well aware of oops concept if you have already you know worked on any project of .net or if you you know uh, you are currently working on a .net project then you know that how uh, object are created classes are created what is inheritance right what is polymorphism and all that i'll tell you I, I have already created all the answers for these questions i will tell you in the end that where i have kept this answer so that you can go through before interview so first question is can you explain about oops concept in microsoft.net this is a very basic and important important question and every interviewer ask and when i take interview also i ask this question for developers so this is a must question and you have to be well prepared of uh, for this question so that you can explain next is what is a sealed class and what is the benefit of using it right sealed class is a concept in you know uh, classes in object oriented programming which is used so that no class can be inherited uh, from that parent class you cannot inherit a class from a class if you declare this as sealed class right so this kind of concept is there so you have to be well aware of this sealed class because in custom workflows this sealed class concept is used and you can see also what are the benefits i have already created this answers i'll tell you at the end next can you explain about access specifiers in csr.net when you write a program in c sharp you, you might have uh, written public private protected internal right so these are the public access specifiers that we use to define a scope of a specific code right or a program so how this is used what is the significance of different access specifiers that you have to be clear about and i have created the answer you can go through i will tell you in last next question for which design pattern you used in your projects in csr.net if you really worked in some projects you can easily answer this question right because there are many patterns mbc pattern multi i mean model view controller multi uh, mbc pattern single turn pattern and you have many other patterns right uh, so you can go through but you can explain that uh, the design pattern that you have followed in your csr.net i have already defined this uh, you know single turn uh, uh, design pattern i will uh, i will i have already specified any answer you can sp uh, spell that also to them and tell the interviewer next question is what is a namespace and assembly in csr.net in crm or dynamics 365 development namespace and assembly are very commonly used so you have to be clear about this namespace and what is the assembly concept in csr.net right so when you are applying a developer role they are expecting that you should be well aware of this assembly concept dll concept and namespace right access specifiers these are all generic and fundamental questions that you have to, you should be aware of next what is a web api right how can a web api can be accessed in c sharp.net in c sharp asp.net we create web apis right and dynamics 365 developer uh, role also defines that you should be well aware of creating web apis calling web apis right 
because the REST protocol is used to calling web APIs in Dynamics 365. So you should be well aware of the concept of web API and you can explain how you can connect web API using you know the web API verbs like get, post, put, delete, this kind of verbs, right? So you should be clear about this fundamental. I have already created the answer. Next, can you explain boxing and unboxing in .NET, right? boxing and unboxing is a concept by which you can you know convert one data type to another data type inherit uh, i mean um, implicit uh, conversion and explicit conversion right so conversion of data type is used and in dynamics 365 unboxing and boxing is used many times right when you convert to a option set to something like integer like that so this is used boxing and unboxing Next, what is a DLL? What is exe file? When you create a console application, the output is exe file so that you can double click and it will run whatever logic you have written in the background for that uh, console app. And DLL is something which is a data link library which is used for another project. The, you cannot directly execute a DLL file, rather, it will give the business logic that can be used by other projects. Right? DLL is used in our plugins and custom workflows. So this fundamental concept you should be aware of next what do you understand by signing an assembly in c sharp signing an assembly means you are giving a authority or you are authoring your assembly or dll so why this is used and how you can do that you should be aware of because in plugins and custom workflows we sign in uh, assemblies right dlls and next what is abstract class and interface in c sharp and what is the difference interface is used in our plugins and custom workflows abstract class class is also used there so you should be well aware of the answers of this abstract class and interface so this top 10 questions that are con uh, that are asked by your interviewer confidently i mean most they ask this 10 question most to every developer that are going for interview so you should be well aware of this 10 questions at least I don't recommend to uh, you know read everything about C sharp .net. If you are a C sharp developer, then it's okay. You know everything. But those who are less you know less acquainted with C sharp, then you should be at least aware of these questions so that you can answer their questions. Okay. Now at, at last, uh, I will tell you where I have created uh, where I have created these answers. I have already created a PDF file and uh, uploaded in slideshare.net. If you go to slideshare.net and you can search me. I will mention this URL in my description of uh, this uh, uh, video. Then, if you go to this website, I can tell you that this is the URL. You can note it. So, this is the URL is slideshare.net and uh, Sanjay Prakash. Then, this is the URL. If you also don't find this URL, you can go to my site you can see the uh, at the header at the last icon this is my slideshare.net uh, link and here you can find my pdf right you can also click this and you can download that right so you can go one by one and read it so i have given all the answers here so you can ask me that why i have given 10 questions always remember they are hiring dynamic 365 developers not c sharp developers so they will not focus 100 percent on c sharp dotnet concept rather they they just want to understand if you know the basics or not and they will convert to uh, they will just you know uh, uh, they will just navigate to dynamic 365 questions so first they will ask these questions to understand if you are well aware of the c sharp concept or not then they will ask plugin concept custom workflow concept and other concepts um, that i have already given a you know 200 questions in uh, my website right you can search here 200 questions and uh, also i have created my video 200 questions on dynamics 365 you can go through okay so thank you guys uh, i hope uh, you read these 10 questions and uh, best of luck for your interview see you guys thank you and you have if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe and it is for your benefit only thank you guys see you